Hi hey everybody, back to you with another video, it's my third video today. Um, something I was thinking about last night, um, you know, I, I did do a video on um, my reflection on 9-11, my thoughts on it, since uh, that day seems to me like it was just yesterday, even though it was 17 years ago, and there was, you know, there's certain news events uh, that happen, I think most of us, it's probably less than 10, um, a lot of them happened before we were born, but there's just certain news events that are just so huge, so big, that it's like, we, we no matter how long, how much time has passed, we can remember that moment, that day, maybe that uh, those couple hours, like it was just yesterday, and just such vivid memories, we know who we were with, uh, you know, um, where we were watching, I mean, the news on TV, uh, just started to hold a experience, especially like a natural disaster, maybe like a, you know, depending where you live, an earthquake, a tornado, a volcano, a hurricane, a list goes on and on, you know, the Kennedy assassination, or maybe John Lennon getting shot, um, you know, the bombing of Pearl Harbor, which uh, was a very, very long time ago, 9-11, for example, um, since 9-11, I did the video for some reason last night, I was thinking about the uh, 1986, the Space Shuttle Challenger explosion, and I was only six years old at the time. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of people who are too young or uh, weren't, uh, you know, born yet when that happened, but um, I was only six. I didn't really understand what was going on, but it still uh, sticks to the back of my mind. I remember that day very uh, vividly. Um... I was in kindergarten at the time, and we were young. We weren't watching it. Uh, now, one of the, the, the seven astronauts that did die in that explosion, and one of the astronauts was, I think her name was Krista McAuliffe. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her name right, but she was a social studies teacher, and she got the opportunity to go on that shuttle. So a lot of school children were uh, watching that. Um, there, I guess uh, NASA... Um, Back then, like cable and satellites, uh, it was a new thing. So I guess NASA um, somehow managed to get at, uh, uh, the footage to play on a lot of uh, TVs and news stations uh, for school children in the, the schools because it was such a significant event. She was the first uh, teacher to, uh, you know, I think it was the, called like the Teacher in Space program. And again, I wasn't watching. I just saw it on the news later that evening when I went home. Uh, my mom was at a shopping mall with my brother at the time, who was only like three, and I think there was some electronics store, a bunch of TVs, everybody started gathering around the TVs watching, and my mom asked a gentleman, she's like, "What? Uh, what's going on, what's everybody watching, and uh, this one uh, gentleman told my mom, oh, that spatial, the Challenger just exploded, and um, there was actually a, my uh, kindergarten teacher, Mrs. Richards, uh, we weren't, like I said, we weren't watching it. We were working on something else. But I, when it happened, all of a sudden there was a fifth grade classroom across the hallway, and they were watching it in that classroom. And my teacher, Mrs. Richards, she had a daughter that was specifically in the fifth grade class. And all of a sudden, out of nowhere, we just heard all this screaming, all these loud screams. And my teacher, Mrs. Richards, said, hold on, everybody, I'm going to go, we, we heard it, and everybody's screaming, we didn't know what was going on, so the teacher, Mrs. Richards, she said, hold on, everybody, I'm going to see what's going on, and she went across the hallway, and she asked the fifth grade teacher, like, what's what's going on, what happened, and this is a fifth grade teacher, she's hysterical, she's like, oh, that's, that space shuttle just blew up, and, um, you know, she was concerned about her daughter, too, being in that class, and, um, you know, even though I didn't fully understand what was going on, um, you know, that I think a lot of kids didn't really understand. Uh, it was, um, you know, just something that uh, sticks in the back of your mind. Uh, I, that, I vividly remember that. Uh, I vividly remember uh, 9-11. And um, I think the other event I remember, because I'm from Illinois originally, and there was a really bad, it was like one of the worst uh, Tornado, back in 1990, was one of the worst tornadoes to ever hit the Chicago uh, suburbs, Chicago area. But there was like an F5 tornado back in August of 1990. I don't know if any of you uh, have heard of Plainfield. Uh, Plainfield was basically a farm town, but that uh, uh, tornado basically put Plainfield on the map. Uh, whenever anybody hears about Plainfield now, uh, they think of it as a Tornado Alley. And uh, yeah, it was a uh, back back in 1990 caused like 350 million dollars in damage, and about 30 people got killed. And it was a day before uh, school started, and um, you know that uh, event definitely sticks in the back of my mind uh, too. Uh, there was a lot of uh, news footage on that, so. Um, 
Yeah, and as far as, you know, I, I still wonder, there's a lot of theories as to, you know, the astronauts, the seven of them. Uh, some people believe that, like, even before the explosion, they might have lost oxygen, might have been passed out. I don't know that they're, uh, I, I, I was always under the belief, I think a lot of people were under the belief that they, uh, you know, died in the explosion. But supposedly, they survived the explosion, and the cabin that they were in continued on, supposedly it continued to rise, like another 20, 25,000 feet, supposedly they were so high up, like 12 miles up, um, but by the time they dropped, supposedly like 2 minutes and 45 seconds later, but uh, they hit the, um, it was over uh, the ocean, supposedly they only hit the ocean like 200 miles per hour from that high up, which obviously we don't, we uh, kill you but a lot of people believe like i don't think even i don't believe they were still alive at that point they probably were so out of it you know lost oxygen before that uh so still yeah a lot of uh theories and as to when they actually uh, passed away uh i don't know if any of you uh have uh thoughts you know theories on when the astronauts passed away do you remember that day what, what you're doing where you're at who you're with uh what are your thoughts on that uh it's hard to believe it was uh, so Long, almost, uh, you know, th it's the uh, 32 and a uh, half years, but yet it's still there. Even just being a six-year-old child, it seems like it was just yesterday. So, yeah, um, once again, you know, uh, like my video, comment, and subscribe. See you next time with another video. Have a good day. Bye.